So we've all heard of stories of prisoners trying to break out of prison by using something as simple as a spoon, where they would just spend day in, day out digging and scraping away at the ground, trying to escape, hoping that over time, years, they will be able to dig a tunnel deep enough and get out. And I think, as far as my, uh, as far as I can remember, there were actually some cases where some of these guys were quite successful. But the point here is something I want us to think about. What drives a person to engage in such an activity, to spend years doing something so mundane, just scraping and scraping and scraping and getting through a little more concrete each time? What drives these people? And if you think about it, it's the value of freedom that keeps them going because they really understand what it means to be free. Now, let me give you another thought experiment. Imagine for a second, exactly where you're sitting right now, under that ground, six foot under that ground, is a treasure trove. It's proven. There's a treasure trove and it's full of diamonds and jewels worth billions. Now all you have at your disposal, again, is this spoon. Now if the person, or if I said to you, all you have to do is dig. And if you get to it, you can take as long as you like. And if you get to it, it's yours. What would you do? I'm, I'm pretty sure most of us will start digging. Even if it takes a couple of years, we'll start digging and start scraping. And when the spoon breaks, we'll probably use our own hands and we start digging and digging and digging until we get to the treasure. Again, why would we do this? It's because we understand the value of what's inside that box under the ground. So as human beings, when we really and truly understand the value of something, we would do anything and everything in our power to gain access to that thing. So what does all of this have to do with the Quran? Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to give most of us a guilt trip, like one we've never experienced before. It definitely has done to me in the past many times over. But the point I'm trying to get across here is that if we truly understand the value of the Qur'an, then why does this sit on our shelves gathering dust? We don't have to dig to it. We don't have to spend years trying to access it. It's right there, right on your bookshelf right now but we don't turn to it. If we truly understand the value of this book, then why are we neglecting it so much? Isn't this the book in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes manifestly clear that this is guidance for humanity? Isn't this the book that's going to lead us, the key to paradise, the greatest treasure any human being can ever wish for? Isn't this the book in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God says that this brings people out of darkness to light, frees people from the problems and slavery of this world, and helps people attain the most beautiful place in the hereafter, paradise. So here's the question I want to leave you with. If this has been sitting on your shelf for the past couple of weeks, gathering dust, then ask yourselves, why is that the case? And ask yourselves, have you truly understood the value of this book?